Now, Rush Limbaugh. At AM 630. Yeah, I knew it was getting bad. I'm watching the media on Saturday, and I said, you know what, i got to call myself and cancel and suspend the 2 by T advertising. So I called myself to cancel the advertising. I got a busy signal. So I couldn't cancel my own company's advertising. So 2 by T remains a sponsor of the Rush Limbaugh program and the Excellence in Broadcasting Network. Great to have you here, folks. Looking forward to talking with you today as the program unfolds before your very eyes and ears. Our telephone number, 800-282-2882. The email address, lrushball at eibnet.com. While I have your attention, give me 30 minutes here. It's all I ask, and then you can do what you want. It's 30 minutes. I want to explain why I apologized to Sandra Fluke in the statement that was released on Saturday. I've read all the theories from all sides. And frankly, they are all wrong. I don't expect, and I know you don't either, morality, intellectual honesty from the left. They've demonstrated over and over a willingness to say or do anything to advance their agenda. It's what they do. It's what we fight against here every day. But this is the mistake I made. In fighting them on this issue last week, I became like them. Against my own instincts, against my own knowledge, against everything I know to be right and wrong, I descended to their level when I used those two words to describe Sandra Fluke. That was my error. I became like them. And I feel very badly about that. I've always tried to maintain a very high degree of integrity and independence on this program. Nevertheless, those two words were inappropriate. They were uncalled for. They distracted from the point that I was actually trying to make. And I again sincerely apologize to Ms. Fluke for using those two words to describe her. I do not think she is either of those two words. I did not think last week that she is either of those two words. The apology to her over the weekend was sincere. It was simply for using inappropriate words in a way I never do. And in so doing, I became like the people we oppose. I ended up descending to their level. It's important not to be like them, ever, particularly in fighting them. The old saw, you never descend to the level of your opponent or they win. That was my error last week. But the apology was heartfelt. The apology was sincere. And as you will hear as I go on here, it was not about anything else. No ulterior motive, no speaking in code, no double entendre or intention. Pure, simple, heartfelt. That's why I apologized to Sandra Fluke on Saturday. It's all the theories, all the experts, are wrong. But what's gone on since, and what really is going on here, is what we all know to be true. Our president, Barack Obama, has a socialist agenda when it comes to health care, when it comes to birth control, when it comes 
to virtually every aspect of his agenda. In this case, Barack Obama wants the government, his government, making moral decisions about what treatments, prescriptions, pills you pay for through your insurance premiums. He isn't willing to let you or the market make that decision for yourself.